it's finally here, baseball season. And for the Diamond Heels, it couldn't come any sooner. We've had quite a few scrimmages here in the preseason, so I think everybody's chomping at the bit to get a new team to roll in here and uh, get a little competition going. We're going to have some really good team chemistry this year. Uh, got a lot of good freshmen that came in, and uh, you know, I think they're going to have a huge imp impact on uh, you know, how our season goes. So uh, we're all really anxious to get the season going. Carolina will host Seton Hall on Friday at 2 p.m. as part of a 15-game homestand to open the season. The Heels will use the early portion of their schedule to figure out just how the team's pieces fit together. The offensive aspect, it'll, it'll catch up. If it starts off on all cylinders like it did uh, two years ago in 2013, that's great. First and foremost is we got to make sure that we've got the right guys in the right positions. Bolt and Tyler Ramirez are certainly in the right positions in the Carolina outfield. Joining them will be junior Landon Lassiter, who will make the transition to left field after playing third base last season. Me and Sky have got all last year to get used to each other, and it's it's worked out great last year. And then probably Landon or whoever's playing left will be out there, and Landon's a great outfielder just getting used to him, him and Sky. So it'll be really good. We have good chemistry out there, so I think we'll be able to cover a lot of ground. Lassiter isn't the only Tar Heel changing positions, as sophomore Wood Myers will shift to shortstop and Alex Rayburn will step in to play second. And some new names could hit the field, as several freshmen make strong pushes for playing time. Younger guys that, that are fighting every day to, to, to prove themselves, and they're making us better, and they're making plays, uh, swinging the bat and running balls out harder than um, you know, I'd say anybody on the team. It's refreshing to see. It's good to see. It kind of reminds me of uh, a few of the guys in my class. On the mound, Carolina returns all three weekend starters in Benton Moss, Trent Thornton, and Zach Gallen. The trio had a combined 3.63 ERA and held opposing hitters to a 240 batting average last year. I think the first thing that pops into mind is experience. We're going to throw all these guys that have, you know, logged tons of innings and have really good stuff between Benton, myself, and Zach Gallen. We're all pitching with a little chip on our shoulder this year after kind of a disappointing season last year, so we're all ready to rock and roll. Since we think our pitching is going to be really good, early in games you're going to see a lot more small ball from us, getting, getting runners over, bunting the ball, scoring runners, getting just early runs across the board. Carolina also boasts a deep and talented bullpen, led by standouts Hobus and redshirt junior Chris McHugh. McHugh returns to the mound after missing most of 2014 due to injury. This season we're just ready to show people that we're a better team than we were last year and some of those losses that we had were just not Carolina baseball. The thought of, of having McHugh, Hovis and some other guys in our bullpen coming in behind us, you know, that's always a good thought because they're going to come in and close the door. With an experienced starting rotation, speed all around the diamond and a shutdown bullpen, the Heels have the ingredients to reach their season goal. I'm uh, win it. Be the last team coming back home on a plane. So I'll be unhappy with anything less than that.